Oh no, it's on this, that's why. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I want this gray really light and I'm going to, hi Marcy. Um, so it's still too dark, so I really gotta lighten it up. See how I just added black right into the white? Because you can actually just wipe the white off and get it as light as you want. I just don't want the gray quite this dark. Because I want it to kind of look like um, like uh, paper is coming off and, and part of the face is coming out. So I don't want it to be quite um, as dark as it's come out so far. Because you'd rather start out with light because you can always darken it um, if you need to later. I don't know where my towel is. Lily, I need a towel. Let me see. If, I think this is still too... Oh, it might be all right. I think it might be okay. So actually, let's put a little bit of the foundation on the side of the face. We're going to put foundation on and um, just because it's easier to, it's easier to go around that. If you guys can give this a share, if you haven't, please do so. Hi, Hannah. All right. So I am just taking a spray foundation and I'm going to do one section of my face um, just like uh, regular makeup, okay? And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with, with the other part. So you can use any foundation you have. It doesn't have to be spray. I just like spray the spray foundation I have because it's like airbrush so I can blend better on it when I'm doing a 3D look. But you can use any um, foundation. You can use stick, liquid, whatever. Whatever you want to. Hi everyone. Hi Hannah, hi Katie. Hi Melissa, hi Becky. Hi, Tracy. Everybody share. If everybody shares, oh my gosh, we're going to get to 100. I feel it. Okay. So you can decide how um, how far down you want the normal look to go. Um, I like it to go... Um, I, want, I want it to be a good part of my face. So again, any foundation. I happen to use spray foundation. You can use whatever foundation you want. You can use whatever brush you have, okay? Don't, it, you know, when it comes to Halloween, we just make it work, okay? We just make it work. So, um, just make it easy. Get whatever you want to. Hi, Katie! So now I'm going to see if, um, so you see how I'm a, I'm a saver. So I don't want to buy gray, okay? I have black. And look at how big these are. If you get these Diamond FX big ones, they're big. And I only took a little bit of black and put it in there, and it's still gonna be pretty um, gray. So I am going to just lighten the heck out of it, and I'm actually gonna pour it into the lid. Um, because as you add water, it, um... Lily, I need a towel and some paper towel. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda decide. I think I want it a little bit, a little bit lighter. So that's okay, that's okay. Um, if you want notifications when I'm live, I'm really gonna get into the theme lives. Again, they're my favorite. Um, I have to go like this, so if you, um, it's going to be like um, part of a face, um, I wanna say busting out of maybe like some paper or a bag. So, so this part of the face, you could actually make a clown, something creepy. I might just do a regular part. And then this, I just want it to look 3D like it's, um, That's really loud. this is, is the music too loud? My daughter just said the music's too loud. So you guys tell me if it's too loud. And I am going to, I want to show you this paint how versatile it is. And again, I don't sell it. You can find it, it's called Diamond FX. Um, is if you just take this and wipe the top layer off, see how you can get right back to the white and you can reuse it and then it dries and it's like powdery. Um, it's really nice on your skin. Um, you like the music? Okay, good. 
Um, it's really light on your skin. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Um, and that, and that's why I like, it's just super light. It, it goes to powder on your face. So when you put it on, it's, um, um, I'm kind of liking this little bit darker look. So I'm not going to use this little brush. I'm going to tell you too, most of the paint brushes that I use for body painting, I get half off with either a Joann's coupon or a Michael's coupon because you can get tons of brushes there. And if you use the half off, it's like you're getting the best deal ever. So um, if you want to start looking at that stuff now to be ready for Halloween, um, I would do that. So now I'm just going to take my, um, my beauty sponge or whatever it is that I can call it. I don't know. I guess there's some things I can't call it. And I'm going to just pat, see how awesome this goes on. And it's okay if it's not all the same color gray, okay? Um, and rarely when you're doing a look like this, do you want it to, to be a unified color, especially if you're going to do a 3D type of look. Um, you want it to have some depth. You want some of it to be a little bit darker than the rest. So um, welcome to those of you who have just come on. Come on and um, give this a share if you could, please. Um, tap the screen anywhere on my face, my nose or anything. And the three little dots get notifications when I'm live. I was just telling the people that are on, I'm going to start doing more. I'm going to start doing more um, like Halloween, more theme looks. I think I'm going to do some Disney ones coming up. Um, so if you want to be doing um, those types of looks for your kids, um, you know, like family looks. I'm going to be starting uh, to get into that um, so that people are already prepared because at Halloween time, it just gets to be a little crazy trying to do all the looks that everyone wants me to do. I want to have, I want people to have what they, what they want ahead of time. <clears throat> so I really feel like these, um, the look I'm doing right now is best with a beauty blender because um, if you just tap it into the paint um, and see how some of it's a little bit darker than other spots that's good that's good it just it gives dimension to my face hi Danielle hi Tracy hi Lindsay hi everyone Hi, share, share, share away. I would not be mad. I would not be mad. I would not be mad. All right. So let's start this Halloween season out the way we should in the middle or at the end of January. Why not? Right? Why not? So I'm, I think I'm going to come, I think I'm going to come to here and I think I might go up my nose a little bit more. Hi, everyone. Hi. I am going to do like this 3D, like, um, I'm trying to think. People keep asking me. It's kind of, um, um, let me think here. I got to turn the music back on too, because. The music home. Oh, it was on. Oh, no, I turned it off. Oh, there we go. Um, it's going to be kind of like, uh, I don't know, maybe like coming out of a, a, a paper, but not necessarily a newspaper, maybe like a gray paper. But if you wanted, you could do this as like a, clown or something scary popping out or you can do the rest of your face i'm going to do a lot of different variations of this type of thing because it's it's once people see it a few times people won't be so nervous about doing it i would say but um priming is really important with this um and like i said especially if you're going to use 
and this isn't a judgment if you use the paints from like walmart um and stuff that come in the halloween um things they uh they show your pores really bad hi norma it's a wig <laughs> but it's a really good one isn't it my amazon friends always hook me up which means my credit card Um, I always like to go over my eyes a couple times, but here's the one thing. Your eyes crease, okay? Every time you open them, they crease, which causes creasing in the paint, okay? So once I do it with the brush, I like to go in and dab it with the sponge just to help avoid, um, avoid that cracking. I mean, I'm going to put shadow over it. Cause I think I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have this be like a, what's that, AHA had that song, uh, Take On Me, where it was like black and white and color. I'm gonna have this be like grays and then color. I think that'll look cool, but make it look like it's a bag, like a bag. Does that make sense to anyone? You'll see. The beginning of my lives, if I ever go back and look at them, I'm like, what? was I doing and why do I look like that and then by the time I get to the end I'm like oh that's that turned out pretty good okay and the sooner you put it on your lips and let it dry the better um this diamond fx dries like a powder it's super super amazing to put on and um, I have a makeup remover stick specifically for my my um, my painting, um, my body painting lives, just because it's um, uh... oh nice. Hi, Kara. Hi, Kathy. All right, so. I am, I'm trying to decide just how, okay, I'm going to have to go down my neck. I try to avoid that, but sometimes I can't, but that's okay. And if you guys have questions about any of the products or anything, you can message me. Any of the paints I use, just message me and I'll let you know what, um, what I was using. But I will tell you this. The key to all of this is if you're going to use cheaper paints, which is fine, it's, any, it's everybody's choice then make sure you, either way you should be using a primer, but make sure you use a really good primer. And if you haven't shared this, please, please, please share. Um, and um, share it to your groups, your uh, whatever. Um, I'm really liking how this is looking multicolored, that it's not all one gray shade, because I think I want it to look more like maybe paper or a or a bag or something. You'll see. You'll see what I'm going for here. And see now up here it got a little bit darker. And remember, shadow. Always have some shadow around. Hi Renee. Hi Kara. I do like Diamond FX better than Mayron. Yes, I do like Diamond FX better. I used uh, Mayron for a really long time. In fact, I still have a lot of it here. Um, I just like Diamond FX better. Um, I think it goes on um, a little bit better. I guess it just kind of depends too. It also kind of depends on color. So I'm gonna go in and almost kind of use this like I would as a contour.
once I get whatever I want as like my unified color. Um, and if you don't already, um, if you haven't already liked my page, please do that or don't. Um, but if you want to get notifications when I'm live. But share away. Now, I hate doing my neck, but it's not a full look if you don't do everything, right? And my, my hair will be down, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's let this dry. And while this is drying, let's take a drink. The other thing that's amazing about Diamond FX, and Mayron both, you can eat, drink while you're out on Halloween and your lip color will stay on. It stays on amazingly. But like I said, when it dries, it it feels like powder. Um, just like the Sray foundation I put on, it feels like powder. It's really nice. It's really nice. So, and they have all different colors. Like, I mean... And these will last a long, I mean, some of you, if you haven't looked through some of my looks, some of you have seen the Halloween looks I've done. Um, some of them required a lot of paint, but this goes a really long way. So it's worth it. Okay. So I think that is pretty dry. So um, now I'm going to go do this eye just like I would a normal, a normal eye. I'm just going to take a brow pencil. I will exaggerate it a bit. Oh my gosh, I got really hot all of a sudden. So I don't want I don't want my brow to be the focus. I want my eyeshadow. Oh, I need a straw. I do need a straw, but actually this doesn't come off. So um, it's gonna be like I would say like since I'm not doing a clown under it, I would say it's like a person. It's gonna be a person busting out of like a. Um, the eye is the one, the eyelid you'll have to touch up. And and please, if there's one thing, setting powder. Um, I love Mayron setting powder. It's white. You can't use translucent setting powder because translucent setting powder is not translucent. It is tinted. And I am going to use my mermaid slash unicorn brush. And I actually just put the powder right there, tap the excess off, but I'm gonna hit my eyelid pretty good. And I'm gonna hit anywhere I know I'm gonna shade with, um, anywhere I know I'm going to, oh, I just hate breathing it. Anywhere I know that I'm going to shade with eyeshadow a genre um it would be like uh i don't know the look could be done as like a clown coming out of a bag but i'm just gonna do it as a i'm gonna make this side of the person be very like gray and dull and this part be vibrant and beautiful but i'm gonna make it look like it's it's broken out of like a bag like i'm gonna put a bag i mean i don't know Gary. Yeah, your nerd group would be good. Oh, poor Denver. I'm taking him to the vet on Thursday. He, um, that poor little guy. So I told you he was in training. And, um, and in the training, he, um, oh, 
Oh, sorry. Sorry, when things come up. Uh, yeah, no, he was at um, puppy school, and um, I was actually at my sister's wedding. I had just gotten to the wedding, actually, and uh, my friend went to go uh, pick him up, and he was supposed to have, like, a class afterwards. And they told him that he... Um, that the one... How they explained it was... A lady was going to the door, a trainer. Oh, it's so, I, I'm still trying to figure it out. And saw that Denver wanted to come in, but the way the door is, you can't see on the other side of the door. And that he wanted to come in and that he just jumped up and fell down hard on his leg. But they couldn't see him do that because they were on the other side of the door. So anyway, right now he's on kennel rest because I would love for him to avoid surgery. I would love anybody, human, dog, anyone to avoid anything surgical. So I'm going to take him in to make sure he's okay, but it's hard because we have other dogs. So he has to watch the other dogs play and be happy while he has to sit. In, you can hear him. He has to sit in the kennel. And it just makes me sad because he's such a good, good puppy. He's a good puppy. Okay. So let's do some translucent setting powder on the other side. You don't want to put it on the gray side. You want to put it just on the side that you have foundation. And if this was a guy, if, the, if you were doing a guy look, you wouldn't necessarily have to put foundation on. Um, So I'm just, and the only, the reason I'm putting translucent setting powder on is number one, it helps set your makeup. And number two, it's going to help any foundation blend. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, the Halloween music that's, um, not copyrighted. It's just not. I was listening to the same stuff. I hope somebody comes up with something new because I would love that. Okay, let's go back in and darken this up a little bit. I just felt like that wasn't dark enough and there's a spot down here. That's... All right. Now, what color should we do on this side? Let's think. Let's think. Let's put our thinking caps on. Oh, thanks, Nick. I know. Actually, it's like a, um, yeah, I guess it would be a tapestry. It's like a, a blanket that I got at, um, we have like a local record store. I'm a vinyl junkie. And <laughs> if that's, if I can even say that, but um, I love vinyl. And they had these for like $20. And so I just hung out, hung it up, and I love it. Um, hi, Lois. All right. So let's do... I'm kind of thinking maybe some... I'm thinking maybe blue. Um, like teal. Like a tealish color. Everyone knows one of my favorite eyeshadow colors of all time is a Jaclyn Hill palette. So I think I'm gonna have to dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette because I love it. It is my favorite, my favorite eyeshadow color. So I think I'm gonna use that. Okay, so here's the other deal. Hi, Stacy. 
So this is the this is the palette I'm gonna use for eyeshadow, okay? And um oh okay, Kara. It's, it's don't like, so this is a Jaclyn Hill palette that I'm going to use. Yes. And these are my two favorite colors, um, that I love. And the reason I love them is because they are just out there colors. So whenever I'm going to do a live like this, I love to use crazy colors and everybody, everybody who watches me knows that they're my favorite, my favorite two colors. So... Underneath it, I want to use something else though. Hi, Danielle Grace. She's on a boat. She's on a boat. I'd sing something from Step Brothers, but I don't know if that's appropriate. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria drinking sangria. I can't do the rest. I feel like I get in trouble. Sorry, I'm looking through all my shot eyeshadows. So wonder. Sorry, I have a lot of eyeshadow. So I am going to do the eye and then I'm going to get out grays and um, black. So whatever you're doing right here, depending on what look you're going for, there's a million ways you could do this, okay? And in fact, I might do a couple different things so you could see like if I made this a different color and made a, a scary clown come out of it or um, I don't know, just something creepy. But then all you're gonna want is like a gray and a black, okay? Because we'll be able to contour gray with gray and with black. I also always recommend a white eyeshadow of some type um, because it's just really good to use all the time. So like white, white, it also is good for the corner of your eyes to open up your eyes. Um, so I'm going to start with this lighter. It's not really lighter blue, but I'm going to use this blue as the base. Cause remember I only have to do one eye. Hi, Bridget. Hi, my sister. Oh my gosh. My sister, Bridget, I'm going to tell you guys a story you're not even going to believe. Bridget, can I tell your story? <sighs> Listen to this. You're going to seriously freak out, okay? Um, I'm going to wait for her to tell me if I can tell it. Kara, I didn't get a request from you to join that. I don't think. Oh, here. I made you a friend. Sorry, you weren't my friend. Okay, so my sister Bridget, listen to this. It's graphic as all get out. She was sleigh riding while we were at my other sister's wedding in Mexico. She was sleigh riding on a plastic sled, hit a pipe that was coming up through the ground that wasn't what hurt her. She hit the pipe the sled broke in half, the plastic sled, and slit the back of her leg wide open. No, I'm talking surgery split her leg wide open. She was in surgery getting internal stitches, external, like it was one of the grossest things. And I'm a nurse and I was completely grossed out. I mean, a plastic sled, who would have thought? It was disgusting. It is disgusting. She's still... Like she had to have a drain and everything put in. That's how bad. So sledding, I mean, who'd have thought? I mean, it, it's absolutely disgusting. It is disgusting. Okay, so I just want a base color because I'm gonna use a bunch of amazing um, aqui colors. So anyway, it was totally disgusting, Bridget. I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, it was so gross. She just got her drain out. Hi, Brie. If I if I ever show, I'm gonna do one of her. I'm gonna do her 
gross slash on her leg closer to, well, actually I might do it in like a month. I'm going to do it on my face because it's that gross. People will love it. It's disgusting. I mean, I love you, Bridget, but it is so disgusting. So, um, I'm kind of wondering if this is going to offset this too much using glue. No, because it's going to be more aqua. I'm going to use this on the other side too, just because it's the perfect color to use. It was so gross. It was so gross. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Dee Marie. Oh, the hammock. Ooh. Dangerous. <laughs> the hammock. Hey, I saved the drink. Okay. Everybody gave me props for saving the drink. I saved the drink. But cheapers, when I was there, I did a sweat lodge. I did, um, I went to Chichen Itza while I was at the wedding for a day, which was amazing. And I went to a cenota, if anyone knows what a cenota is. Mexico is amazing. It's so beautiful there. Jessica, did you hear... Yeah, I'm going to do that look. I'm not even kidding you. That hands down. I'm going to do that look and everybody's going to, my sister's going to be like, oh my gosh, that is what it looked like. Even though she could not see very much of it because it was the back of her leg. What up? Poor Bridget. Poor Bridget. It's so bad. I can't even like, I say bad, but it's, it's worse than me saying bad. Like anybody who loved gore or loves gore, it was disgusting. <laughs> it was absolutely disgusting, Bridget, you poor thing. Okay. I can't find any of the brushes I need. Okay, that's okay, I'll figure it out. Hold on, I gotta see these long. And those of you who know that I cannot see, I use these special glasses. Yeah. We had a painter in the house when I was a little girl I went to slide off his back and had a scraper. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm telling you, Hannah, I'll send you a picture of Bridget's leg. It's disgusting. So now I really want this to change to a brighter color. This eye, I don't want it to be as gray. I just wanted the, um, the transition color to be, um, a little bit back there. So see how I'm changing this to a whole different bright. And these are those Jaclyn Hills. Now remember though, Morphe has fallout. Morphe and um, cheaper eyeshadows. Um, yes, I just used a... Thanks, Andy. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, the first the first brush I use is just a, a fluffy blending brush, kind of a big one when you when you're using a transition color, and a transition color is just a color that um, will peek out, just really peek out essentially. And um, and now I'm using a this is actually more of a crease brush. It's actually not even a crease brush. It's for the center of my eye, but I can't find my crease brush. But I am using it to put it all over um, the base of my eye. I was just going to use it in the crease. But since I'm going for a dramatic look, I actually want it everywhere. Um, because I am going to use a metallic on the lid. And since I'm going to use a metallic on the lid. Um, and use those fun metallics and shimmer colors when you're doing your Halloween looks. When you're doing your looks, make sure that when you put um, your crease color on, have your eye open because even if you don't have, um, even if you don't have a hooded lid, um, like my lid is just starting to become hooded. It's an age thing, but I wouldn't see right here. See how with my eye open, I could fill that spot in so that you can see it. It's super important. So I always recommend when you're putting a crease color on, uh, do it with your eye open. Just don't jam that in your eye. Um, I know. Isn't my hair great? It grew overnight. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I believe I got it at Sephora. My two favorite eyeshadow colors in the world are in it. 
And if I could just buy these colors, I would. However, I am not allowed to do that. Um, however, um, also remember, I, 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 I have a lot of Morphe eyeshadow, but it's going to have fall. You can see it already. So the one thing I do love about a really good foundation is I can spray it on the brush and see how I can go right in there and clean that up. And if you want to make your eye dramatic, you can use it to lift your eye, your eyeshadow, okay? But every time you put more, every time you put more foundation on, you have to put more um, setting powder on, okay? But do it when it's dry. Everything should always dry. If you're just coming on this live and have not given it a share, please give it a share. Tap the screen to get notifications when I'm live. I am going to do, hi Jenna. Um, the color is, I think it's, oh no, it's Pool Party and Jada. Yeah, I think that's what they are. Um, my eyeshadow brushes are a mix. Um, some are Morphe, some are Elf, some are generic, some are, I don't even know where I got this one. I don't even know what it says on it. Um, everything. I have everything. Um, the, some I get from my, um, my mermaid ones I love too. Um, and I love my Jeffree Star. These are Jeffree Star, a Jeffree Star set. And I showed you some of my mermaid ones that are like uh, rainbowish. Okay, back to my eye. I'm gonna go back. Um, if you don't have one of these and you do a lot of looks and shading, it's a sponge that you rub your brush in to get the excess. Highly recommend it. This is when I'm going to take my uh, fluffy, very fluffy crease brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out so there's not a harsh line. Um, Brie um, did this the other day in a, a look and she did an amazing job blending out. Um, blending, hold it light. And this is anywhere on your face. When you're doing a Halloween look, when you're contouring, hold it far away. And the reason why is you're gonna put less pressure if you're holding it out here. Then if you're holding it right here, you're gonna put way too much pressure. If you're holding it out here, it's gonna be nice and light. And all you're doing is making that line not so heavy. You're blending it out. Because now we're going to take my favorite color. All metallic colors go on better with your finger. This color is gorgeous. And I'm going to put it on my eyelid like so. I'm sorry, this is amazing. I will tell you one thing though, I haven't used any other color in the palette <laughs> except these two. Maybe one other one, maybe a purpley color, but other than that, these are the only colors that I've used. So um, see all the fallout that happened again? So one thing that you can do with fallout, so let's say I go back in and let's say I just use the brush to wipe this away. Um, you need to bake, bake which essentially is taking translucent setting powder, or if you're using paint, your Mayron setting powder, which I showed you earlier. Sorry, that's super loud. And I just put it all over this and pat a whole bunch of it underneath because then you can wipe it. You can wipe it later. Okay, I saw all caps. All caps. I know, I know. So sorry, I was on the phone. So glad you can watch. I'm so glad you can watch too. And everyone share, share. Sharing is caring. We talk about that a lot. So I am going to go back into this like iridescent. Um, this is like my mermaid amazing color. And I am putting this over my whole lid because it's magical. It's a magical shadow.
And see how since I did it with my eye open, that darker color is still there? That's what you want. Okay, so since I've done that, I'm going to go back in and clean this brush off. Get the metallic off of it. I'm going to go back in with that darker color. And all I'm going to do is tap the tip of the brush in it. Just the, just the tip of the brush. And I'm going to hold it to my face. and go right here, holding it right to my face. So I'm not stabbing myself in the eye, but I'm getting a little bit of that color under my eye. See how easy that is? And we'll go in and clean up what needs to be cleaned up later. Okay, so now my other eye, I'm gonna need some massive silver. Um, so I need silver, silver. I want it to be um, silvery, silvery. Hi, Megan. I know, isn't that color great? Ooh, what's this? That's got potential. Oh, it kind of looks purple. No, you're out. You're out. You're out. Do I not have a silver? That would be super sad. With all the eyeshadows I have, that I have no silver. Gotta have something silvery. Doesn't seem like me. Does everybody carry um, silver eyeshadow? Oh, I know one of these has it in it. Sorry, this is what happens when you when you have too many paints and makeup. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't know. That's a possibility. That's not. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That might work too. Okay. Oh, I think I have a really cool, um, I think she has one. Who is this by? I think this is Mac. This is a great Mac set and it's called Basic Bitch. I mean, that's what it's called. I'm not trying to swear. I'm just saying that's what it's called. If you end up wanting to get this color. Sorry, everyone. While I was looking for colors, I'm missing all of the... Hi, 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 Christina. Hi, everyone. All right. Has everyone shared? Let's get into this eye more. Let's get, uh, gosh, I'm, you know, I can go into this really organized and clean. It just doesn't stay that way. But that's okay. You know, it's, it's life. It can be messy, right? Right? So who's having an amazing winter? I don't want that. I want my, I want my eyeliner. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. I'll go on to something else. Okay. <sighs> Thanks, Bree. You shared and invited? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, let's do this other eye. Um, okay, so you know what I'm going to do is I am just going to go in for my brow with gray. Sorry, I'm missing everybody. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm just gonna take a gray from this. Um, the other thing too is, especially at Halloween time, if you're, if you're doing a look, use a bunch of different things um, to, uh, so like, 
Use your eyeshadow also for your brow. Like, use other things. You know what I mean? Don't, you know. So I'm just using an eyebrow brush, okay? And I am using eyeshadow. I think this is a, I think this is a MAC. It's, it, any gray will do. Um, I would always recommend for like Halloween, um, shadows, I have a set of grays with black, have a set of like neutral as well. Um, is that pretty even? I don't want it to look too black. I mean dark, you know, I want it to still be grayish. All right, so now let's go in with another blending brush. Hi, Abby Louise. Hearts for my sister, Abby Louise. Let's do it. Hearts for Abby Louise. Thank you, Megan, for sharing. That's amazing. I'm telling you, when it comes to that kind of stuff, and, you know, and it's hard to, um, I think I'm just gonna, well, maybe I'll go in with a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take a gray. And I'm going to use it as a transition color with a the problem with big blending where they don't like to get in the corner of your eye. Okay. So while that's going on, Hi, Megan. Megan's my sister just got married. All right, this is when I've got to move this so that I can see and move everything else out of the way. And turn it down. Oh, not off. Willie was right. She came in and she goes, that's too loud. It was too loud. She's so smart. All right, let's uh, start. Let's start cutting out what I'm gonna do here. What brush am I gonna use to do that? I need my little tiny one. Okay, so this is a fraction of my brushes. Always have a teeny, teeny, tiny one. Is that my teeny, tiny one? now I'm going to go back into this gray and move everything out of the way. Oh, this is where it's, I need the glasses, but I can't use the glasses. This is where I become. All right. This is where we're going to start 3Ding it, people. So if this is something that you're interested in, Because remember, you can do this side scary, this side a clown. There's so many like things you can do. But I'm picturing this as like gray winter and like vibrant spring and summer coming out kind of a thing. Let's be like artistic and, and stuff. Hi, Val. Hi, Julie. All right, 
so right now this is just, I'm just outlining where, you know, one thing I do want to do though quickly is I am going to blush this up first. Because once I get over here, I don't know that I'm going to be able to. I just don't want to get into the gray too much. And then I'm going to get into um, some bronzer. And we're only going to need a little bit because only one part of it really sticks out. Bronzer makes a big difference. Hi, hi, hello everyone, hello everyone. And then let's just lightly blend this out. Blend, blend everything, blend everything. All right, now let's go back in. This energy right now, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But we don't have time to be tired when we have jobs and kids. And but there does come a time where you just gotta take time out for yourself too, you know? Okay, so this, and we can darken that if we need to. Now I'm going to If you haven't shared this, please give it a share. Okay, this is where I want like the illusion that it's pulled back. So let's Yeah, let's make like a Did you like to see my mirror? That bright was too bright. It was like, I couldn't see the... That's so funny. I'm gonna lighten this up. I might be able to just do it with my finger. See, I want it to look like it's, it's folding up. here I could do this with paint but I try to I try to shadow whatever I can because I think shadow is just it has so much more power shading does than There is a rhyme and a reason to shading when you're doing looks like these where you put, you know,
Okay, this is where it gets bumpy because I have a skin cancer scar. So we're sunscreen. And then when you want something to look like it's coming off, you want it to be a very thin line. Jeannie, how are you? <laughs> Kara. Well, I can turn to something else. I just... under like bumps like this I like to I still loved my elf on the shelf that was one of my favorite looks I'm not too worried about back here because the hair is so long that I don't think it's gonna okay so this gives us a start So don't go in heavy with your line. And even if you do, if you do it with shadow, it's okay. You can lighten it. If you do it with paint, it's a little different story. Um, I did. I did. So I have a Harry Potter scar on my nose. Um, you know, it's kind of a funny story. If you, if you have anything on your body that you question... Go to the doctor and if the doctor says I don't think it's anything you tell him to take a sample of it anyway because it's your body because I went in and I had it was just a pink a pink like little slightly reddened area that would go and come back every six months and um, I went to the doctor and I said this spot it, it goes and comes back in the same spot every six months it's so weird and she did they do the whole body thing and while she's doing the whole body thing I'm like um she goes oh well there's this spot on your back I'm worried about I'm not worried about the spot on your nose I said well I'm here for the spot on my nose because my intuition says that there's something there and she's like no I'm like I'm not leaving here without you doing it so take a sample off my nose a week later, she calls me back, and she says, Oh, Jessica, I have some good news for you. That spot I was so worried about in your back isn't cancer, but the one on your nose is. Really? Thanks, lady. I guess they all have to learn somehow, right? You know, so wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. Thanks. Oh, Jeannie. Um, oh, dropping everything. Okay, so I'm gonna have to blur some of these a little bit with a blending, blending brush. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come in with some white. I'm gonna have to make these. So this is all gonna look super different when it's done. 
<clears throat> yeah, um, you do have to tell doctors a lot of times what, I mean, you just have to be persistent because you know your body better than anyone. You know your body better, better than a doctor than anyone. So there's that. Now, since all my brushes look pretty dirty, I'm going to try this one. This is where the white comes in handy, okay? Because now I'm going to go in and I need to highlight. And sometimes if white powder won't do it, I will go in with paint but I really try. See, that is showing up. And you know, I'm gonna soften this too. This is a very fluffy, loose blending brush. Cause I wanna blend this so it's not so harsh. This is why you put setting powder on, because blend it's so much easier to blend shadow. Oh, good. Oh, hi, Amy. I saw your message pop up, Amy. I'll, I'll um, message you back um, after the live. I think you messaged me. Okay, so this is just a blending brush that I'm just lightly, see how I'm getting rid of that harshness of that line? Because that's what we want. We want to get rid of that harshness. Okay. <clears throat> you still don't know what I'm doing. I love it. It'll look pretty cool. All right. And we can even blend this out a little bit more. Blending brushes, never, under, never underestimate just this little bit of blending because it really takes that, see how it takes that harshness away? <clears throat> All right, I can't really stand looking at this eye like this anymore. So I don't know if this is the silver I'm gonna want or if this is the silver I'm gonna want. Oh, that's the silver I'm gonna want. I really need some um, mascara on. Mascara is one of those things when I look at myself, I just feel weird without it. Oh, that's a cool color. My poor pants. I just keep waving everything. My pants. <laughs> okay. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to use this little tiny brush and take some black shadow. Because since I already have shadow, Oh, it's just another one of those things. Why get eyeliner for Halloween look? If you already have black eyeshadow, use it as your eyeliner too. Okay, some of my looks have taken like... From start to finish, I've had a couple that took six hours. 
like some of my Sally and Jacks, because I would come on with some of my body already painted. Like when I do Sally and Jack, they're clothes I paint on my body. <clears throat> now, here you gotta be careful, because you don't wanna take the paint off, but at the same time, we want, I need some brushes like this, seriously. I, I, some of these brushes I think are from high school. I just want to I just want to I don't know I'm gonna take some of this silver and since my finger I can't get in the corner use a brush like this and dab it right in the look at how much that opens up the eye And then in the darker color that's above, I'm doing the same thing where I'm just tapping the top of the brush. Again, I open to get that darker color. And then always make sure your shadow's going up, not across. All right. Now, while I have this brush out and I put away, oh no, I'll use this. I'm gonna dip back into that really metallic color and I'm going to use that on this eye as the corner. Because even though it's not white, it still opens up the eye. Okay, now I need to get some mascara on. It's just one of those things that... Is there some something that you have to have on? Like, if I... Where's my primer? <sighs> this music is going to make me fall asleep, for sure. For sure. <laughs> oh, they, there! I have the ghost from Haunted Mansion up there. That's one of my favorite rides at Disney. Good job, Megan. The hitchhiking ghosts. All right, so both eyes are just gonna get um, regular black mascara. I use a lash primer because I do so many looks that it like conditions my lashes just because I put so much mascara on. So much, so much. I can't see what anyone's saying. But. I'm sure it's really good. I can't get to my mirror either, so that's sad. I'll use this one. And remember, if you ever get mascara on your already done eyeshadow, use, um, what can you, I know there's some people on here that know the trick. Use the brush on the end of your, um, your eyebrow or your, um, I'll show you in a second. One thing I can't do is, That lash primer curls my lashes before I even. Okay, this mascara is out or close to.
Okay, so the more coats of mascara, look at the difference in mascara. Um, I don't like fake lashes. Um, because they pull my actual lashes out. Oh my gosh, that's great. I can't see what anyone's saying yet. Denver who just wants to get out of the county. All right. We're going to call that good. So if you get If you get mascara on your on your eyeshadow, use the brush and just like flick, it'll come right off without doing your, it'll just flick it right off, right off. Not even kidding you, I wouldn't joke about something like this. Spoolie, spoolie, thank you, I couldn't think of spoolie. <clears throat> spoolie, spoolie, okay. So let's get working now on this, um, I also need, um, I'm going to spray a brush. What brush am I gonna spray? I'm going to take a setting spray and I'm gonna spray a brush into a garbage can. And then I'm going to dip it into whatever I'm going to use for eyeshadow. spray when you use it on a brush it does all sorts of different things with your shadows or you could use it with and disclaimer this is not made for your lips however I am um, being creative So I'm trying to use the least amount of products as possible. really want the insides inside corners darker because I'm gonna highlight with a metallic color all right so now I'm gonna take the metallic color See the difference that makes? That's all illusion. Makes my lips look bigger. So if you're doing this for a different look and you're using like red lips or um, 
whatever it is, use concealer, use a lighter eyeshadow or something, and it's going to make a huge, a huge difference in the look. All right, I can come back to that. Now I need to go back to shading. All right, where's my baby brush? All right. I need to go back in with the white. So if I'm not gonna be able to get, get the brightness I need from the white shadow, I'll use paint. But I don't wanna give up on shadow quite yet. See how much whiter that looks? Because the white is going to contrast the shading. Usually you do the shading last, but in this case, I needed to see where the lines were going to be before I could do that. I think after this, I'm going to, I'm going to put some white paint, you know, I'm just going to get the paint. Oh, I don't know, down here it's working pretty good. Oh yeah, that's making a big difference. So what I'm actually doing is I'm pressing onto the shadow and pressing it on instead of trying to blend it. Which is making a big difference. this line to be less. So it's kind of like if you went in with a look and started with a, a pencil to outline. Oh yeah. Don't pump your mascara. Oh yeah, that's true. We got, y'all, when I used to work at like I used to work at the cosmetic counter in the mall. And so it was like Clinique and Estee Lauder. And that was one of the things we got told right away. I'm still gonna do some paint lines. I think it's just gonna I think it's just going to add to it. Yeah, I think I've done what I can. See how it's starting to look like um, paper? I guess it'd be like paper or plastic. Okay, I'm going to need that again. I'm going to need that again, but let's get out some paint. I think I am done with, oh, you know what I need. I need optimistic. If you haven't shared, please feel free to share the slide. All right, I'm gonna go in with optimistic right here. since it's a, I'm gonna also add to the corner a little bit more to lighten it up with that awesome color, look at that. I'm also gonna add a little to this one just to open it a little bit. With that one, I'm gonna use the silver.
Okay. Now I need a fluffy brush. Let's get kind of a bigger brush. Let's, I'm gonna take this brush. I'm gonna go into the gray. I'm just gonna kind of tap it. I have no, I have no idea how much is on it. So I'm taking eyeshadow and I'm making a line here and then I'm just flicking it up. Now remember, if you're doing this and you're having a hard time blending it out, it's because you didn't um, use um, setting powder. Now I'm also gonna use that up here. And then just kind of swirl it in. It doesn't need to be super dark, it's just, we, contouring is like one of the most important parts Contouring and shading and highlighting, it's what makes a makeup look. It's what makes it pop. And just because this is the sad gray side of her, she still wants to look good, right? And then always do your jawbone. I always like to squish the brush or get a smaller one. See how that makes a shadow? Makes it look my, like my lip is folding over. It makes my lip look bigger. Now my face is rounded, so my contour needs to come down, but not extreme, not as extreme as it is back here. See how that starts to like line my jaw? And then just kind of blend it all out. The same with the nose, since there's too much going on with the nose, I don't really need to worry about that. And then the same with the neck. All right, what do you think? All right, let's go back. To, I'm gonna get some paint out. It's already out. I'm just gonna get it wet. I'm gonna take a skinny paintbrush. Denver, stop. leave somewhere? No, I was it oh, did it start? When you live where it's cold, you have to start your cars every once in a while. Okay, I'm going to need to make this darker. So this is when you blend several different colors till you get the shade you want. And you'll try it on your face several times. Oops, oh, sorry, am I missing a whole bunch of comments? Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, Nick. It's not dark enough. So I seriously am just like wiping the brush just on the top of the black. See how it's more like the color of the of the shadow now. Um yeah, 
this is making a big difference using paint. Now you'll really be able to see. Yeah, it's making, it is, it's making a big difference. See how it's starting to look like a, the shadow just was not, I couldn't get it dark enough. I was trying, but now this we want it to look like it's coming up and over. See, I wanted that to look, so I'm going to leave this little area open and then I'll, I'll shade under that a little bit, but I want this to look like it's folded over. And then this, let's, let's make this look like it's coming in a little bit too. Okay, yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that made a big difference. And actually with this gray, I'm going to get rid of this gray and maybe have it be more of like a brown. I don't think I'm going to need this again, but never say never. I'm going to need those shadows again, but I need, um, oh, Jacqueline Hill is still out. I got, I can get a color from her. So I'm really going to blend out this gray. I still want it to kind of look like a line, but not really. Thanks, Sue. So I'm going to take maybe like a brown, not too dark of a brown. And I don't want it orangey. Let's try this. This is good. Yeah, because then that's why we have blending brushes. Hi, Sue, 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 Sue. is way better. I don't want it to look like blood though. So maybe not quite as burnt orangey, I guess. Maybe more. See, some of these are sparkly though. That's too orange too. Okay, Jacqueline Hill, you're out. Okay, let's do this. Let's use this one. It's just like a brown, a really light brown. Because we want to bring this up into this. Thank you, thank you. I love it. Yes! Boom! And like I said, you could easily make this like a a clown. Because I think that's what I'll do at like Halloween time. I'll have like something else busting out. But for now, it's it's this girl that just wants to get out of winter. 
you know, some people get the winter blues. She's popping out of the winter grays. It's like she's a newspaper and then, boy, the lips turned out good, didn't they? Yeah, I think this looks better. I just need to blend it out. Let's blend it out. Do some final touches. What do we think? Is it interesting, not interesting? We'll shade some more. With our little shade baby brush. So shading, places we should shade. Okay, these are places we should shade. Right here. Once you put the color, I like to wipe. If I'm gonna use the same brush, I wipe it off to bring it down to blend it out. Otherwise, get a blending brush out. Cause I'll add some white to this as well. White paint. some white. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I know. I, I, I can't switch the music now. I want to take a drink so bad. I'm going to have to wait. Okay, I need another paintbrush. Some of these paintbrushes, it's like after you use them, they... And don't worry, it's in my Halloween bucket. If anybody was wondering... And it's not even super white either because I started to make it gray. And that's okay. It's, we're just using it as highlight. So I'm going to highlight it anywhere. And I have this one brush that you can get from paint stores. It's a paint blending brush. And before it dries, you can just... See how that gives it, it gives it the, gives it the highlight it needs. Cause this is, this, these are the things that bring a look together. I loved at the beginning, everybody's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I might have for a while been like, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so this is where I have got to get into the crease of my forehead.
Okay, hold on. See what this is. I don't know. She's sort of. Oh to no! Nobody wants to be. Medita- I don't want to be. No, I don't like when people guide me in meditation. I mean, sometimes I do. Not right now. Right now, we're going to see an ad. Every day. Uh, my favorite part is the review page, where I feel like a lot of what I have to do is translate feedback from. Why don't you translate and get me to the music? This is morning music. Like, this is not even better. Does this feel like the sun's coming up? I feel like the sun's coming up. Okay, so let's really highlight the nose because nose should be highlighted anyway. Can you guys tell? Does this look like what the look I'm going for or no? Oh, Bernie. No, you're going to get hurt, buddy. Here, is he? I don't think you can get through here, buddy. Is he over there already? Yeah. Oh, okay. He just cannot walk. He tried to come see me. Is any is anybody getting this look or I'm loving it, but I don't know. I'm into like art and I know, Bree, I know, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just not even gonna try. Cause this is like wake up meditation. This would not wake me up. This would make me get back in bed. See how that white's popping that right out? Places here, I really don't even need to blend as much as I have been. Stay awake. Well, you don't have to, you can always come back and watch it later. I'm okay with that too. It's breaking free, is what I'm doing. See. It's 
especially like right here. I feel like this should be white. I think it looks pretty cool. Does this need to be shaded more or is it shaded enough? I'll take some final picks and Does it? Stop, good. That's what I'm trying to do. Awesome. That's what it's supposed to be. I didn't want to tell people because I didn't. That's exactly what it is. It's moving from black and white to color. Bree, that's amazing. I just still feel like I'm just gonna keep like kinda tapping the white a little. I feel like the white's really, okay, let's go back to, let's go back to some shade. It's like a back and forth, you know? You know what I need is I need to blend this out. These lines are too solid. Oh yeah, there we go. Blending it out, seriously. love magnetic shutting um, eyeshadows unless I want to get them open. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Thanks, Annette, for the time. Wow, that is really popping. to color Aubrey nice job gosh that's awesome that is really looking cool is it just me or oh my gosh I 
gosh, I love the hearts right now. I'm totally falling in love with this. Oh my gosh, my fingers are cramping up. Look. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Thank you. I know how I needed it. I could tell I, it looked too, it was too blah. How is this? Is this good? No, there's one spot up here. Cause then once I pull this forward more, what do you think? it's so cool awesome okay well I'm gonna take some final photos I'm going to do some card readings this week I'm gonna do some more theme lives this week um, I have a lot planned so make sure you get notifications when I'm live um, I'm gonna do some Halloween looks oh my gosh Brie I'm so glad you said the black black and white oh my gosh this was awesome and I love my I love this wig I'm going to grow my hair out. Okay. Thank you everyone for watching and sharing and happy Halloween. And we'll do some more gory stuff coming up because I love doing that. And I love doing stitches and stuff. So, um, good night all. Have a great evening. Bye.